and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, Alhamdulillah, we are going to be talking about watchfulness. And who are we talking about? We're not talking about the Big Brother CCTV that we have um, in the UK or cameras that we have stipulated around the malls. That isn't the watchfulness I'm referring to. I am referring to the watchful eye of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly, constantly on you. Whenever you do a deed, whenever you do an action, whether that's good or bad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you. When you think you are alone within your four walls, when you think you are walking to school or to college or going to work by yourself, you're never really alone. Why? Because you will always have the angels on either side of your shoulders writing down your actions firstly and then secondly you will always have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watching the actions that you do and these actions you will be accountable for and this is the fear that we all need to have inside us that whatever action we're doing whether that be good whether that be bad we will be held accountable on the day of Yom al Qiyam on the day of judgment when there will be no one else will be the judge, jury and executioner apart from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this fear we really need to instill in ourselves and this fear of watchfulness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us do good deeds and will prevent us from going astray, will prevent us from doing bad deeds. Let's look at what the Quran says. In chapter number 26 in verse number 218 and 219 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Remember the Quran is the conversation between Allah and the Prophet So this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifully subhanAllah saying to the Prophet Who sees you O Muhammad when you stand up alone at night for tahajjud prayers and your movements among those who fall prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the five congregational prayers. So this is a question that Allah is asking the Prophet and I can't say this without smiling because it's a beautiful conversation and that conversation subhanAllah we get to read, we get to witness subhanAllah, we get to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala questioning. It's a rhetorical question because it's not a response, a response is not needed but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making his presence known that when the Prophet وسلم, is reciting his tahajjud prayer, when he's reading his five congregational prayers, his fajr, zohar, asr, maghrib and isha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching him. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes further in the Quran in chapter number three in verse number five when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and confirms truly, truly Nothing is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether it's in the heavens or whether it's in the earth. And then chapter number 89, verse number 14, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirms when he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever watchful. This is a, a verse that we really need to ponder and reflect on. If we reflect on this and really have that fear in our heart that Allah is forever watching us, we won't go astray like I said. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about those people who when sometimes, I'm sure you will be able to relate to this video, when sometimes you are lying or you know of those people who are lying and they start looking here, there and everywhere because they can't keep or maintain the right contact. And then we have those people who when they lie, they stutter. And then we have those people who say something, utter something from their mouth, but their hearts are saying something else. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to those people in the Quran. And if we look at it, it's a very scary ayah. In chapter number 40, in verse number 19, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and confirms that Allah knows the fraud of the eyes and all that the breasts conceal. So who are we really lying to? And I have done a video on lying previously, um, I think about a year ago. Who are we really lying to? We're not lying to you and I. We're not lying to our mum and dad. We're not lying to our brother and sister. We're not lying to our friends and family. 
we are lying to ourselves we are lying to our souls because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows he's the all hearing he's the all seeing and the quicker we realize that the better our actions will be so hopefully this video has benefited you and if it has please remember to subscribe click on your bell notification so you can be notified for future videos inshallah and I shall see you next week with another video look after yourself Allah Hafiz Allah, Allah.